welcome back everybody to Quarantine Cooking Episode 5. Uh, thank you for joining us today. So today what we're going to be cooking is some potato gnocchi. We're also going to be doing a rustic tomato sauce. Uh, these are the ingredients we're going to be using. We have a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. So remember, this is quarantine cooking. So let's work with whatever you have in your pantry, in your drawers, whatever. We'll make a wonderful meal out of it. We have all-purpose flour. If you want to make it gluten-free, you could get gluten-free flour, uh, flour for anybody out there. I have fresh parsley, or you could use your dried parsley. I have a, just one yellow onion, russet potatoes, and I put Parmesan cheese on the list. I know a lot of people don't have it in their house or don't want to go to the store to get it. Open your drawers where you keep all your condiments you get from the pizza guy, extra ketchup and stuff, and you'll have some wonderful Parmesan. Cool. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, here's some crushed red pepper. So these, I know 95% of you have it in your drawer at home. So thank you for joining in today. A couple of people that we have here, we're going to have uh, Tony Bowles. Thank Hi. you for having us. Uh, we're also going to have Tammy Brown from Painting with Friends. Hi, everyone. Hi, Tammy. Nice to have you. Thank you for inviting me. It's great to be here. Yes. And what are you guys doing right now that we're in quarantine and shelter in place? So right now we're creating uh, paint at home kits. Okay. And they range from about 12 to $16. And we provide you with the canvas and paints and complete instructions for those. Nice. So, and yeah. so later on today, we're going to be looking at some different ones that I have spread out around the kitchen. But more importantly, we have these beautiful ones that are here. I like the garlic one. It's nice. I do. I like that Very one, nice. too. Very nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And so you can find these on your website, right? On our website, yes. Okay. It's www.paytonwithfriends.com. Excellent. I'm going to include that on the, on the video. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Awesome. We can't wait. We'll definitely get some of these ordered and get going. Sounds definitely. So we also want to give one more shout out to Andrea Nicolette, YMCA. Uh, your wonderful idea. We're up to episode five already. So let's get cooking, you guys. Join me in the kitchen. All right. So potato gnocchi. I know everyone has had different varieties of potato gnocchi. We're going to be making ours with just flour. This is going to be a vegan recipe, no egg in it. So you know, check out some online. Some add, oh, you can add an egg, uh, ricotta cheese, different stuff. But what we're going to be doing today, keep it as simple as possible. I think it's always better when it's simplified. Uh, we're going to have your russet potatoes, some flour, we're also going to put a little bit of olive oil I got over here. Here we go. And I think we'll do some chopped parsley to give it a little bit of color. So the way you're going to start this is you're going to peel your potatoes. So the deal with potatoes is you want about three to four potatoes. That'll be a cup of flour. So every three to four potatoes, use one cup of flour. Uh, and also when we're mixing it a little bit, you'll see how the texture we're looking for. Uh, you, want, you don't want it too wet or too sticky. So we'll definitely take a look at it. Here we, so we got one potato down. And on some videos you'll see that they leave the peel on. Uh, they said you could do either or. No matter what, you gotta, the peel has to come off. So I always say let's do it ahead of time, get it out of the way. Is that true, uh, Chef, that the peel has some nutrients in it? Has all the 95% of the nutrients are going to be in the peel, definitely. So if you want to fry it after and eat it with like some chip, help yourself. What I do also to make sure the potato cooks all the way and cooks faster is I cut it into fours. Cut it into fours. We'll start off with these two potatoes. We put them right here in this boiling water. And I did put a, a tablespoon of salt in here. You want to always salt your water. Always salt your water. Give it the, you, want it, you want it to taste like the sea. Real salty. So we're going to let these go for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want them really mushy. So we're going to let these go for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to come back and check them. Be, well, while we're waiting for our potatoes to finish, we're going to get everything ready and start our sauce. We'll, all right? Okay. So while the potatoes cook, we're waiting for that to cook. Again, they're going to take about 15, about 15 to 20 minutes. You want them really mushy, and we'll show you how they look when they come out. What we're going to start right now is our rustic tomato sauce. Uh, Tammy had a great question. Tammy, mm -hmm. thank you, Tammy. Oh, what was your question? Chef, why do they call it rustic? We, I call it rustic because it's going to be pretty much a sauce that's thrown together. Um, this we're not going to do. A, we're not going to do no fancy cuts. We're not going to do. Need to puree it like a marinara, cook it for two, three hours. 
What we're gonna do is just grab some things, put it together, and make it taste delicious. Real simple, real fine, and real rustic. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with an onion and some garlic here, Gilroy garlic. See that onion? Looks a little, we'll take a look at this real quick. As you can see this onion, the bottom part doesn't look that good, so we're gonna cut that off. And you can still reuse the other piece. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go, that looks a lot better. We'll cut this piece off. Tammy, I noticed you brought some beautiful pieces of art here. Thank you. And those I gather, if that's the before of the wolf and the before of the female basketball player, and then the outcome is the after behind it. Absolutely, so okay. when a uh, customer orders, they receive a pre-sketched canvas, mm -hmm. and the canvas looks like that. Some of them have um, a vinyl sticker on them, like the basketball player, and then you'll just paint over the top of those, uh, paint right over the top of the black lines, and it'll end up with all of our directions looking just like mine, hopefully. <laughs> awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna purchase one today, and I'm gonna post it on my Facebook to see how we did, okay? Awesome. So, yes, and Austin and Sophia, that's, that's Sophia's right there that says bowls. And then that one is gonna be Austin's, so we can do a neon kids show with your kids. There you oh, go. Fabulous. So what we're gonna do here is just get a, a half moon cut. We're gonna throw it right in here. Well, before you do that, throw about a tablespoon of oil, olive oil, mm -hmm. extra virgin olive oil, onions. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get these onions to start sweating, cook them down a little bit, a little bit of translucent. Use a pink spatula for the neon exchange color. And get a little bit of salt in there. Why do we go high? Why do we go high on small pepper? <laughs> so it's not concentrated all in one place. There we go. We're gonna make Tony a chef after all of this. My husband would be proud. <laughs> so we do is get a quick saute. And I want to, you guys should send us some videos, you guys cooking this. Let's see how you guys toss them. Fancy. So chef, if you can't toss them, what's the best way to get them around? You can just mix them like this. Mix them up. Huh? Yeah, mix them all up like that. So right now I have olive oil, onions, cut into half moon shape. Salt and pepper in there. I always have to clean, sorry. So we have our can of roasted tomatoes there. Remember, quarantine cooking, use what you have at your house. And I like these because they're already roasted. I got some garlic and some, uh, the can. Here we go. So about a tablespoon of garlic. We are in Gilroy, so. Am I right? We like our garlic. <laughs> so our whole can in there. You want the juice. And the last, we're going to throw a little bit of parsley in there. Parsley is not like cilantro. You cannot eat the stem, so you try to get as less stem as possible. Just get a rough chop. You don't want it all super fine where it's going to disappear. And I'm not going to throw it in yet. I'm going to throw it in right at the very end so it keeps its color. And we'll also garnish with a little bit. Make, make it look real, real nice when we plate it up a little bit. But this you can't toss. It has too much liquid in there. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. You take a look at that. Mm, it does smell good. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Take a whiff of that. Can you smell it? Oh, it's amazing. So right now we have garlic. Mm -hmm. We have Gilroy garlic. We have a yellow onion, half of a yellow onion. We also uh, have a tomato, can of tomato, olive oil, salt and pepper. That's it. That's it. Really easy. And if you have whole tomatoes at your house, a can of whole tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, just crush them with your hand. Crush them up with your hand. Um, if you have um, fresh tomatoes, Use fresh tomatoes, you could do that also. We're gonna let this cook down for a little bit. And then we're gonna, while that cooked down a little low, we're gonna let it cook down a little low. 
We're going to start doing our potato gnocchi, you guys. So our potatoes started, stopped, came to an end. What we got here is a nice mushy potatoes. So what I did, I took them out, strained them. I put them in the fridge for a little bit just to, to make them manageable. Mm -hmm. And you just want them really mushy like that. So we're going to come over here. What we're going to do is make our gnocchi. We have our masher, wonderful masher. Uh, you'll see a lot of videos on YouTube or uh, Facebook where they use a ricer. If you have a ricer, use it. I don't have one. I have a masher in my hands, so we'll definitely get it here. Ain't that right, Tammy? That's right. They say the hands are the best tools. There we go. Do you see you're getting a good mash? Yeah. So again, this is about three potatoes. So I'm going to start off. This is a one full cup of flour right here. So I'm going to start off with about half a little quarter of that. There we go. And the potatoes I use are a little smaller, so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely take a look at it. All you're going to do is get a good little mix on that. So right now it's about a quarter cup of flour and three potatoes. The salt it. I want mine to look a little green, so let's throw some parsley in there. Again, if you have any dried herbs at your house, parsley, rosemary, uh, thyme, anything, feel free to use anything you like. So Tammy, some of those pictures behind him with that beautiful like parrot and mermaid and peer through that wood. Yes. Yeah. Those are all available too. We have about 17 more geared for adults and at least 20 for children too. Oh, wow, so, I didn't yeah. know. That's cool. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. And so you do not only the kits, but also the classes where they're in, I mean, of course not now with shelter and home place, right. but. After the time of the COVID, yes. Yes. Yeah. We do do classes at our studio and that's located right down the street from Tony at 7560 Monterey mm -hmm. on the second floor. Yeah, it's a beautiful like vaulted ceiling space. It, it's a gorgeous yeah. little building built in uh, the 1940s, so yeah. it's kept a lot of its original um, architecture. Yes, and I love your, by the way, let's take a look at those oh. earrings. Look at the earrings, though. Aren't those awesome? Those were a gift from one of my customers. <laughs> they are. I just saw yeah. them. Right cool. <laughs> That's cool. So here we go. You can okay. see, this is what you're looking for. You want to get a little closer there? Mm -hmm. See how that looks right there? And it's not sticking to me. It's not sticking to me. That's what you're looking for. Still a little moist, but not too wet where it's sticking to you. There we go. We'll get rid of this bowl. And I'm going to put a little flour on my cutting, but let's get rid of this guy also. Get him out of the way there. Put a little bit of flour. Just roll, make a little ball. Make a little ball. And then from that ball right there, we're going to cut into four. Get a little flour on top. Flour is good. Flour is our friend, remember. One and two. There you go. You cut it into four. This guy, what you're going to do is make a snake. Just roll them out. Roll it out. How fun. There we go. Voila. And then from there, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Any size you want, any shape you want. And the magic to this is the gnocchi, use a fork. You can use a fork. Um, they make this a fancy gnocchi maker you can order online. It's a piece of wood, have lines, and you just roll it down. Uh, today we have this, so. Today we have this guy, we're gonna roll it, roll it. And there you go, voila. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at that. Cool. So is the reason for the lines so the sauce gets into it? Exactly. So the reason for good the, question, uh, a good question for the lines is so that sauce can definitely stick to it. And we, um, if it was just like this, it's really not going to stick to it at all. Okay. Yeah. So these are more, a lot like potato dumplings. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You have your gloves on? Okay. I'm going to come over here and check the sauce and stuff, and I'll let you finish up right here. Sounds great. All righty. Awesome sauce. Let's get Tammy looking uh, <laughs> yeah. involved. There you go. That's a little hard to do. There's your creative 
what is that right brain work <laughs> one of them hopefully <laughs> so here we go we had tammy finish these up for us and we'll make some more after at this time right now get some water boiling in the pot put some salt in it get it real salty so these we can boil them and after that we're going to take them out and fry them right up in some uh, olive oil so Great job there, Tammy. Thank You've done you. this before. Uh, I've never done this. Uh, <laughs> These look wonderful. So, so at this time, you should have some water boiling. If not, get it going and catch up with this. So here's what we're going to do. Let me get a little bowl over here. Everything has the fancy colors here, I tell you. <laughs> so true. So true. While we get this in here, I want to throw a little flour so they don't get stuck together. And you can also uh, freeze these, mm -hmm. um, use them anytime you want. So you can make a whole batch, freeze them up, and take them out whenever you want. And these, you can just go straight to the oil if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to plump up a little bit. That's why I put them in the water for a little bit. But before that, we're going to check our sauce. How does it look? Let's take a look at our sauce here. And I, I like it like this. It's still a little watery. Uh, you have the tomatoes. You have the onions. You can see the onions. I have the garlic in there. And we're going to add a little bit of parsley to finish up here. Just like that. We're going to put this aside while we get our water ready for our gnocchi, guys. We're almost ready to eat here. So while water is going to boil, getting to a boil, I want to get my saute pan nice and hot. This is going to be my saute pan. On the list, you'll see that it says two saute pans. One for the sauce, and one for the, one for the sauce, and one for to cook the gnocchi. Let's get that really hot. I'm going to throw some oil in there. Just so, want to coat the pan. Tammy, one quick question I have. How did you get into the art world and, and everything art? Well, I started doing art, like most of us do, in, in mm -hmm. elementary school, and then throughout high school and that I took art classes mm -hmm. and some in college, and then life happened, mm -hmm. and so put it off to the side. Paint night came around about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. so I started going back and I thought, this is really fun, and all my friends said, you know, you should really teach. So one year on my birthday, about six years ago, I decided to hold a paint party, and that was the start of it. Oh, yeah. And here you are with us. Here I am. I know, right? right? <laughs> painting with friends. We're cooking with friends. She's cooking painting with friends. Everyone's friends here. <laughs> so here we are. We got water boiling. Okay. Some salt in it. We throw our gnocchis in. You know when they're done, when they rise up to the top. Just like that. You wonder, who made these? A master chef named Tammy. So we'll know they're ready when they rise to the top. And we're gonna throw them right into the hot pan with some oil. Now be careful, you might have a little bit of water from the transfer. Uh, feel free to put them into a pan if you want first. Um, put them into another bowl. I'm a little crazy, so I just throw it right in the oil and if it pops, it's okay. I noticed you have a strainer. Chef. Yes. <laughs> I will get this right one day. To your list, don't forget to add a strainer and a potato peeler. Or you could get a can potatoes already. If you have that, use that. But you could also get fresh potatoes. So add a peeler and a strainer to your list. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. <laughs> See the rising up right here? See how they're rising up? They're coming oh, yeah. up? I didn't take very long. Oh, no. These take... These are really quick, less than like about a minute. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do now is strain them. There we go. Right into the oil. What we're trying to do is get them brown. Don't put your hand in there like that. I'm a professional. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is just let them cook. Let them get brown. All that is is olive oil. That's it. Is that that's on high temp? Like you I do have it on high. Okay. You want it really hot. It's not as just gonna absorb too much oil. You want to get it as quick as possible. Got it. There we go. You want them just to brown, brown up a little bit. 
I might be sticking there in the seat before I hear it. So chef, when they're nice and brown, should they release really easily from the bottom? Yes, yeah. You'll see, you'll see them release right when they, right when it gets coated in the bottom with the brown, they'll come right, right off. Nice. I'm gonna use a spatula. It's not a fancy color, but we're gonna use it. Have you had gnocchi before? I have not had gnocchi. No, okay. Looking forward to. You can tell on this one. Oh see yeah. Yeah, nice and brown. Coming right off. You, you can get that as golden brown and delicious. I'm gonna make you a t-shirt that says golden brown and delicious. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I heard that uh, the other day, another chef used that. I'm like, see, I'm not the only one that uses that. Look at that color on that. Okay. You get a little gold in there. This will take about a couple of minutes just to get the nice color you're looking for. A spatula will work better than the tongs, you guys will definitely use a spatula. And here we're almost done. You know, so a lot of people, you can use butter if you like. Um, I use extra virgin olive oil, it's a little healthier since it's a vegan dish. Again, this has no egg in it, and that's what made it a vegan. If you're gonna put a, you make a vegetarian, you can use egg. I uh, still know meat. Some people uh, might do this and saute it, add some cut up sausage to it, uh, ground beef, shrimp, mm -hmm. a bunch of different proteins to it if you like. In Italy, they use this as a side dish. This is more like, if you don't get a salad, you might get some gnocchi on the side. There we go. We're going to fry up a little more. We're almost there. So if you're using butter, does it have a, a lower burn temperature? Yes, it's going to burn a lot faster. Okay. Yeah, it'll brown. you'll see it brown, which is okay. That's a little nuttier flavor. But once it starts getting black, you don't want to use the butter no more. So this is what we're looking for right here. Nice brown gnocchi. There we go. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna start getting plated, so get ready. All right, so we got our gnocchi done, nice and golden brown and delicious. Here's our sauce, mm. nice rustic sauce. So what we're gonna do is plate. Again, uh, Diana, San Diego, thank you for sending in uh, your, your plating, it looked wonderful, thank you. So what we're gonna do here is make a little pile. Don't you love Tammy's artwork as a backdrop? Exactly. <laughs> I feel international now. <laughs> I could just eat that right there. That looks wonderful. And we have wonderful potato gnocchis. Tammy, you made these. <laughs> yes, you did. Rolled them up. And remember, you're going to add some Parmesan on top. And if you have any little things from your pizza that you have saved up, your little chili bag, add some chili to it. And it seems a little weird, but this is quarantine cooking. You're going to use what you have at home. Everybody has the grated Parmesan. What do you think, ladies? Fantastico. Fantastic. And I like mine a little spicy. I know. I know uh, Tony oh, does. Oh, yeah. We'll add some chili flakes. And very last thing we'll add... And parsley. Green. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Bon appetit. Thank oh. you for joining us, everybody. You guys enjoy. And thank you again, Andrea Nicolette, for uh, putting this all together, having this wonderful idea. We're on episode five, Quarantine Cooking. Tammy, thank you so much for coming thank out. Thank you for again. hanging out with thank us, Tammy. Thank you for having me. It's been wonderful. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Woohoo! Definitely. And tell us your uh, website again. Oh, yes. It's uh, www.paintingwithfriends, and that's P A I N T N. With Got friends. It. Got it. Again, Tony. Tony, thank you so much. No Definitely. So Tony's turn to try out some good food here. All here right. we go, Tony. Let me know what you think about our wonderful potato gnocchi. Get some of that sauce for sure. Okay, here we go.
Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. Love it. Thank you. Fabulous.